Hello there again, Dr. Price here with Dr. Price Teaches, here for another lesson, brief lesson, involving teaching. So this particular lesson is going to be focusing on student engagement, okay? So how do we, that, that's, that's a buzz term, student engagement. Engaging our students so that they learn what we're trying to teach them. And so new teachers and people who are trained to become teachers are often concerned about two big things, classroom management and student engagement. And, and rightly so, because those two things can make or break a lesson, make and break a teacher, make and break a class. Students experience as learning and mess it up years for years. So my thing is, if you think about student engagement, I think it helps to think of the students as trainees. So math class, mathematicians in training, engineers in training, uh, science class, uh, botanists in training, scientists in training, rocket engineers in training, um, English class, writers in training, um, readers in training, and so on and so forth. And so the thing about being a trainee, an apprentice, if you will, is that you require the practice, right? It's not enough just to watch someone doing something. So it's not enough to, to see someone model. Okay. You have to then be able to take part in it, right? Or to at least be able to be given the opportunity to unpack or <clears throat> unravel all that's involved in performing this task. So it's important that we give our students the, the opportunities to do those types of things, to pay attention to what we as the demonstrators, the experts, quote unquote experts, are doing for this task, and also uh, take part in it, try it out themselves, trial and error, make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Because if all we're doing as teachers are standing up front and even lecturing or modeling, and not involving the students in that process, then what happens is students, some students can, can zone out. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Well, could you repeat that? I zoned out. I'm sorry, Dr. Price. Okay. I've been teaching my heart out up here. Now you're gonna zone out? Oh. Okay, let me repeat it. Let me teach for my soul again. But don't take it personally keep people engaged, okay? For instance, think about, I want you to stop right now. Think about a time when you zoned out. Did you just zone out during this video? More than likely because I wasn't keeping you engaged. But let me show you an example, okay? Let's say that you're in the classroom and you have this, this lesson. You have this new skill. You have this new piece of knowledge that you're bringing to the students. Okay, okay. All right, students, we're gonna be focusing on this new concept, and uh, this, is, this is what it is going to be, and uh, so, so pay attention. Put, put your book up, put, put that phone up. Put the phone up, okay. All right, so pay attention. <laughs> more times than the students, then we have been doing too much of the work, right? 
So remember, students are Chinese. They're in China. So give them that opportunity to work throughout the class. So how can you do that? How can you instill that engagement throughout the lesson? Okay, so I think two ways. One, have them do it. Or two, have them pay attention to what's being done. Start to unpack it. So let's try this again. All right, so we have this new concept. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you. This is what it's going to be. This is what you should be able to do at the end. Okay? Okay, so that's your little taste. Now, I'm going to do it again. But this time, I want you to pay attention. I want you to focus on how many sounds. Again, I want you to focus on how many sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many sounds per foot? Okay? Right foot, or left foot. This will be sound on this one, and sound on this one. So I want you to pay attention, count, because after that, I'm going to stop and I'm going to ask one of you um, to see if you're right, and then we'll move from there, okay? So pay attention, sound, count them. I'll do it again, just in case, I'll do it a little bit slower, just in case you need it. How many? Three, that's it, exactly. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now that you have this, how many sounds? Three, yes, right. So now I want you to pay attention to what those three sounds, how those three sounds are made. I want you to pay attention to how those three sounds are made. So what, what am I doing to create those three sounds? Okay, you can pay attention to the right foot, or you can pay attention to the left foot. Do the same thing with each one. And again, I'm going to call on you, one of you, to figure it out, to say it. And we'll see if you're right or not. Okay? How many sounds are there? Three. So that should be three different moves. Alright, I'll do it twice. Okay? Let me do it one more time. Things that know the sounds, the, the, the different moves I'm making. Okay? You see, you see, it's about having them pay attention, it's, especially if it's a new concept. And then after that, I could have them, all right, now let's stand up and let's try it out. How many sounds are there? Three. What are the different moves to make those sounds? There. Yeah. You see how we, when I start to involve them in, in the actual process of Practicing that step, practicing that concept, now I can revert back to knowledge that they've already stated for themselves. They already know, because they have to identify that there's three sounds. So that way they know how to self-correct. If it's more than three sounds or less than three sounds, something's wrong. Then they also should know how to make those sounds. So again, they are being involved in that process. They are being engaged in that process of learning. Oh, and they also are involved in that work. So that mental gymnastics. So by the end of the day, at the end of the class, you, the teacher, are not going to be the only one that's tired. The students are also going to be tired. Okay? Their trainees put them to work because they're going to be expected to perform. Okay? That's student engagement, a small part of student engagement. Uh, if you like this video, if you feel that this was beneficial to you or might be beneficial to someone else uh, whom you know, feel free to like the video, subscribe. I'm adding more videos as I can, bridging uh, teacher education with tap dance just to keep you interested and to give it a fresh new, fresh new take. Um, if you feel that your school body, your teacher body, school district can benefit from talks like this, feel free to send me an email um, and we'll see what we can do. I'll br even bring my, my tap shoes for you, okay? You can find me on Instagram, Dr. Price Teaches, uh, or even visit my website at drpriceteaches.com, okay? We can tackle this, teaching uh, this teacher thing one step at a time. Dickety-dot, dickety-dot, dickety-dickety-dickety-dot.
one step at a time. Take care, folks.